Hello and welcome back to Lord of Heroes Nightmare Campaign on Nearest Gaming. Let's get right back into it, shall we, with the Nibelon Woodlands. Got six stages here and two bosses. Or are these abyssal wolves? Sifred. Hmm, I'm sure it was over here that I felt them. And yet there's no sign of them anywhere. Where in the world are they hiding? Eek a, a, a wolf. Don't come any closer. How did y'all live? The entire country got nuked. You there, ephemerals. Are you a dragon? She's got horns. And a tail. Neither of those things is important right now. Infernal wolves have an acute sense of smell. Infernal wolves, not abyssal wolves. Hiding yourselves won't do you much good. They were rabbits, then it could work, since with them, it's out of sight, out of mind. But it's a poor strategy when up against infernal wolves. Infernal what? Those monsters, you mean? Hmm. I suppose no further explanation is needed. Wait there quietly. This won't take long. And I actually have her here, so this is fitting. We might go a bit quicker through these just fighting ads bits. Because they're not going to be very much different than most things. So they're not all that important. These don't seem to be all that higher of a level than an extreme. The obelisk is for sure a higher level at higher floors. Let's test something here and see if Frams 2 will take them out. Almost entirely. Oh no, that hurt so much. Okay, another one of those. And we're gonna wait this out. And then let Fram do her thing. Like usual. Unless, you know, she doesn't crit on one of them for no reason. She has, I'm pretty sure, over a 90% crit rate currently. That isn't disappointing at all. And yet so typical. I suppose on these missions I could swap out Lucilica with something like Water Helga, Dragon Knight Helga. Given I don't need her for boss killing, given these are non-boss levels. Make life a bit faster. Wow, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. I think that's enough of the pleasantries. Now, I'd like to ask a few things. Ask us anything, we'll tell you everything we know. I'm glad to hear it. First, who are you? Are you residents of this forest? No, we're Avalonians. We used to come out here on occasion. Granted, this also is Avalon territory, but our home is over in Avalon proper. <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore. You used to come here, meaning that you're not here on a visit? That's right. We were attending to our field like any other day. Suddenly, knights from the castle came rushing over and told us to escape to the forest. At first, I didn't know what incarnation they were talking about. Oh, okay, this guy's... He's a farmer, all right. I mean, who in their right mind would just lay down their plow in the middle of a busy day? Ain't that the truth? They didn't even properly explain themselves. They didn't tell you why? Sifrid is not getting that accent. I suppose it's more accurate to say they didn't have the presence of mind to. They look mighty afraid. Then there was a loud bang, and well, I'll tell you, my legs started running by themselves. Then the whole country blew up. It was weird. Wasn't able to really pack anything on account of getting our hinds out of there. And then we see those, uh, wolves. Infernal wolves. Right, we see them, and my heart just about stopped. I see. Hmm. I don't think it's all that strange for monsters to be showing up here. That's so. It's the first either of us has seen anything like them. There's a high concentration of arcane energy in these woods. Monsters appearing here is about as natural as the sun floating up there in the sky. You mean it's only natural? Indeed. It won't be easy, but you need to figure out a way to protect yourselves. You can't always rely on a friendly draconic passerby to fend off the monsters for you. Yes, ma'am. Would have been nice if you had listened when they were trying to teach us self-defense after fleeing the Citadel. Quiet, you. I'm gonna try to learn now, ain't I? Ha <laughs> ha. Do you have any other questions, ma'am? I asked everything I needed to. Do you have anywhere to go? 
We heard there's an Avalonian guard posted somewhere in these parts. Can't for the life of me remember where. The knight said it was next to the warden tree. Looks like you listened even less than I did. Is that near here? Yep, I know these roads well from all the times I came picking greens. It's a bit of a walk, but it's well lit the whole way. So there shouldn't be no problems. That's good to hear. The arcane energy is stabilized. You should get going before monsters start to flock here again. Thank you kindly, ma'am. If you ever find yourself in Avalon, make sure to stop by Brick and Shupin. Uh-huh. I appreciate the invitation. Get your move on, old man. I'm coming, I'm coming. Now come on out. You can't ignore me forever. Ah, oh, Miriand. I wasn't ignoring you. I merely needed to verify it was you. Because there's so many people that look like her. It's been a long time, Miriand. Have you been enjoying the life of a vagabond? You haven't changed a bit. Of course I haven't. Not even a little since you left with the weight of the world on your back. I saw Aslan. I imagine you did. Walter, too. I mean, you do not look anywhere near as old as them. Again, not surprising. Couldn't find the others. Brandon's off somewhere. Helga's off somewhere. How did you see Walter but not Helga? Although this is timeline three, so I don't know where they are. Did you bring some guests with you? No. I bet. Phew. I'll take the front. I swear. You're as tactless as ever. Time to explode. In a sec. Now. Please crit. Thank you. That was very odd. I'd understand if they were infernal wolves, but... Those things shouldn't have ever been here. Something ominous is afoot. No, really. Marianne, why are you standing around? Come have a seat. I'm fine. Once we're done here, I'm going to split. Is that really something you should be saying to an old companion you haven't seen in 50 years? I don't see why not. I don't know about you, but I have no interest in getting caught up in the past. Looks like you really don't know. I came to find you, Marianne. Recently, I've detected multiple instances of strange shockwaves occurring here on the Western Continent. And as you saw, we just fought against monsters that have never been found in this land before. I'm sure you know what these are all signs of. It seems I have your attention. Take a seat, my neck's starting to hurt. Hmm. I've been quite busy running all around. Not that you're interested in how I've been doing. A certain floating somebody made quite the mess too. The group got back together after so many years and all that came of it was more fighting. Without his bridle, it's no wonder he'd thrash around like a wild colt. You just need to ignore him. Heh, <laughs> you know that's not possible. Nothing really has changed. Now that you're all caught up, I'll get to the point. That wasn't the point. Come with me for a while. What? Remember what you said last time? How, despite all that hero nonsense, you'd help because the world ending would be inconvenient. Help me again, while I'm still asking nicely. Are you saying we're facing another situation like before? Yeah, that was pretty obvious. Yeah, I'm quite sure of it. Do you ever regret your decision? Now you're dealing with something twice that's too much to deal with even once. What can I say to someone who's dealt with this more than twice? Heh, <laughs> that's adorable. I, at least I think she was around for the first one? Because the one that we play through is the second. Or the tyrants. I'm not like you or Brandon. I chose this. That's true. Ha ha. Are you ready to take responsibility? You don't want to be regretting your decision. It's hard to let go when there are people you want to see. I doubt you'd want to let this opportunity pass you by. Looks like I've got an unexpected traveling companion. We make a pretty good team, don't you think? Hmm? Shaky do. A boom. What the? What's happening? An earthquake? No, the direction is... What? Avalon? Right, I suppose we're in the woodlands right now. I completely just blanked on that. Also completely forgot that I seven-starred Sifreed. Looked over and saw she was leveling. I'm like, what? The Chronicles, 48 hours after Avalon's destruction. Mew, can you give me an update on how the people are taking this? Calculating. The current state of 89% of individuals is exhausted, scared, accepting. Slash dead. That's a lot better. I forgot about you entirely. Kind of weird that you didn't show up in Avalon at all. What a relief. Sir Oswald, thank you. You've contributed a lot here. Nonsense. As my ancestors used to say, when it starts to rain, you can protect yourself with even just a bowl. That's our situation right now, isn't it? Or, you know, a drying pan. We may have lost our home, but the people are all safe. We should be grateful for that. Oh, so she she took everyone, not just, just us. 
Yeah, you're right. Hey, old man. Hey, Dark Astrid. The people ain't all safe. I get what you're trying to say, but you can't just look at everything through rose-colored glasses. My apologies. I misspoke. It's okay, Astrid. How is it okay? You haven't slept in two days. I know there ain't a sun here, but have you completely lost your sense of time? Running all over the place with that sullen look on your face. I promise to get you back home. I promise we'll make things right. Please bear with us just a little while. Good job increasing your affinity with everyone. Right, she's the... She's the Deadpool-esque fourth wall breaker. Otherwise, they might be throwing eggs at you, right? Haha. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Ugh, you can be so frustrating. Um, I have a question. Okay, I am ready. Can we go in and out of this space freely? Maybe Muse would be more of a robot given she's like a robot interface type person. You can if you go through a portal I create. I can specify where the portal leads and there is no limit to the people who can use it. Wait, does that mean we can run away to another country? Why don't we ask some far off place for help? Those are all probably dealing with a similar thing, although it seems to be centered here. That is an excellent suggestion, but we would be unable to ensure the nation's safety. If Avalon was targeted, there's no guarantee that other nations won't be too, indeed. Even if they don't get completely destroyed, there are likely gates popping up all over. I've analyzed the arcane wavelengths of each region. According to my analysis, I've confirmed large waves of arcane energy in all lands. These seem to be gates. I have recorded the estimated number of gates, but no pattern has yet been found. I am sorry. I will try harder. What about Mir? Have we even seen that on the map yet? Ian, now is not our time. Can you check on gates and Mir with whatever magic you're using? The Chronicle's search radius is limited to currently observable locations. This means what you would call the Far West. I see. Then we three shall be leaving. I vote we don't. Why? Just like the Bowmen said, there's no guarantee that Mir is safe. Even if we get out of here, it'd still take months on boats for us to get back there. And yet this nation was destroyed in what, less than a day? Aaron, don't be insensitive. I'm just saying it like it is. What's clear right now is that we can't protect Mir. Yule is still in Mir, isn't she? She boasted about how she could defend the country by herself. I bet she's eating her words right now. Seiryu just might be able. What, you think Seiryu can do alone what all these people couldn't do together? Do you have that little faith in her? I'm going to choose to believe in her, and I'm sure the Empress isn't blind to what's happening either. Get the feeling we'll end up with a story beyond this over there. Although, how do you create a story beyond world-ending calamity? She's got more tricks up her sleeve than Buryu here. There's no way they're clueless. Why are you dragging me into this? The whole Imperial Court may be corrupt, but they'll protect their people. There's not a single tree that can grow without its roots. Beretta's already headed over to Lumicide. That only leaves... Hey, could you send me to Rodan? Our president's there right now. Not that I think the old lady's in need of help, she's practically a calamity all by herself. Just so I understand. Investigate the gates in each area, close them, dispose of the monsters, and... Then... Meet up with the other knights from Avalon. Oh, right. Thank you, Lady Lyra. <laughs> no problem. What? You're saying there's a way? The possibility is quite low. However, based on the destruction of the subjects Rowan and Kanai, there may be a place where it can be done. The graveyard, you mean? The what now? The resources that comprise life are complicated. As they are destroyed and absorbed, there will inevitably be leftover fragments. These fragments have a 97% chance of being destroyed or absorbed into the air. However, when an exception occurs, the fragments have the chance to cause an error in the world, so they're collected into one place. The graveyard is like a landfill. Correct. That's not even its real name. It's a title given to it by those with limited life. So, there are fragments of Rowan and Kanai in that place? Checking. I'm also analyzing the cause of the newly observed phenomenon. The power used by the other timelines Rowan. That was... The authority granted only to the Chronicle Keeper, or at least a part of it. Do you mean he was like another timeline's Mew or Lambda? No, the possibility that Rowan's body is a Chronicle's terminal is zero. I believe he was granted authorization. That is why there is a high probability that fragments from that power are in the graveyard. That's great. What does a living person need to do to get there? They must enter suspended animation. Huh? No subject that exhibits signs of life may enter. It was not made to be accessed by the living. I will artificially place you in suspended animation and fragment all the resources that make up your body. Which means... You can enter in your full form. You will be different from the graveyard's fragments. However, this state will not last long. How long? A maximum of one week. After that, you will be identified as foreign matter by the graveyard. If something happens in there, is there a way to return to your body? No, you must go through my portal. If you become caught in the graveyard's disposal process, you can never return. Just like the other fragments. Yes. At any rate, you're saying we can enter the graveyard, right? Then I'll... You cannot, Master. 
This space was actualized due to the contract between you and me. It will collapse the moment your vital signs disappear, but I'll go. It'll be better for the person getting fragmented to have experienced something similar. Physical trauma aside, the mental trauma that comes with this is unimaginable. As someone who's gone through it countless times, I'd say I'm qualified. Cartis, you do the work that's been given to you. Okay, thank you. Also, you have to promise. Promise you'll come back with them, all together. You have my word. Holy... There's a lot of reading, this one. Back to the nibble on woodlands. It's nice to be down here and all, but... I mean, it still hadn't hit me when we were in the Chronicles, you know? Same here. But now... Yeah, seeing it in person? It's really upsetting. Right here is where the road heading to Avalon should be. But now there's nothing more than a hole that looks like you'd die if you fall down it. Avalon? Bram? Yeah, I know, dwelling on it isn't gonna do us any good right now. Let's go find those gates. Right. Repeat the process. There's a lot of provocation going on right now. Up to, to the, uh, premium speed just to get this going quicker, because it's just normal monsters. And normal stage. Once more. Feels like they might have just completely front-loaded all of the dialogue at the beginning of this level. And at the end, okay. Phew, that's that. I knew it wouldn't be easy, but that was a lot more work than I thought it'd be. Mikhail? Hmm? What's wrong? Don't you find it strange? What? We're in the place where the arcane energy is strongest. And yet... And yet? It feels empty. It feels as though the closer we try to approach, the farther away we get. Hmm. Let's keep going. I'll have to keep an eye out, too. Are you hurt? Nope, I'm tough. I'm also utterly covered in armor. That typically helps. Okay, on to the first boss of the Nibelon Woodlands. If you hadn't noticed, this is a different recording session and I was not using the same people, so we need to make adjustments. Given this is a boss round, we'll need Lucilica. Everyone's sitting here with their arms crossed. This place is a mess. It's doubtful that there are any survivors. Hmm. Still, we should check. Let's take a look around. Yeah, sure. What the? What the fram? Huh? A thump. Eek! Who are you? Gert, y'all are still up and about doing things whilst all this is going on, really? Bandits? Looks like they must have survived. Hey, you okay? You look pretty beat up. You've got guts walking in here on your own. What are you talking about? I'm asking if you're okay. You look like you could use treatment. Have a seat here. We won't be able to do a proper job, but it should hold you over until we head back to this Chronicles. Mikhail? You want me to do it? Hmm. Should I? It's fine, but you're more skilled with your hands. Feel like I'm gonna break this guy's arm if I do it. Fine. What are you doing? Grr, let me go. I, I am angry. I'm going to treat your wounds. Who asked you to? I don't need it. Just hand over everything you got. Bandits to the end, I guess. You are being foolish. You're trying to rob us? Right now? When else am I gonna? Unbelievable. I think we need to calm him down. He's gotten all worked up. Hit him with a sword. Bram? Okay, I'll go easy. Thanks. <laughs> Light Fram does not go easy. <laughs> Hey, calm down. What's gotten into you? Uh, grr. I, I I growl. A bunch. That's what's gotten into me. Look, we got nothing. We just came here to see what happened to the place, and to see if anyone needs help. Are you the only one? Help. Me. Hmm? What did you say? I didn't say anything. I heard someone talking. Help. There it is again. Is someone there? Oh, hey, I did get the accent right. Knights. They're Avalon- <laughs> No, Fram ain't Southern. They're Avalonians. You. What are you doing with these people? Fram, hold on. <laughs> As if robbery weren't despicable enough, you gotta abduct people too? I don't think I've ever seen her have her weapon out in one of these screens. This is weird. Grr, come at me. Again with the growling. I mean, I will. You won't like it. Fram, I think he's had enough. It wasn't enough that you kidnap people trying to run away amid chaos, but you take their food and their clothes? You better choose your next words carefully. <laughs> How can you say I kidnapped them? What else would you call it? Are you hurt? No, phew, thank you. I honestly thought I was done for running into bandits while running away from danger. Are all the evacuees from Avalon here? I don't know, we all got separated. But I bet they're somewhere around here. I'm glad you're safe. Me too. I think the bandits are to thank for the monsters not attacking us. What? Huh? Really? Yes, we were getting attacked by the monsters when those bandits showed up. I thought I'd gotten out of the frying pan just to fall into the fire, but it turns out the bandits drove the monsters away. And now they're robbing us. So yes, it, it turns out we did jump from the frying pan into the fire, just not as heavily as we thought. Gurm. Gurm? See? You should have said so. Then why are you robbing us? You made it easy to misunderstand, telling us to hand over everything we got. I figured knights would have heavy coin purses. We don't. That doesn't make it any better. Thank you for your answers. 
If you don't mind resting here a bit, we can attend to each of you. Hey, Mikhail. Hmm? Over here, quick. Please wait here. Don't go anywhere until we get back. Yeah, sure. Marianne. Ah, Fram. Mikhail, get the people out of here. I'll keep this one at bay. Why is he attacking us? Who are you? Oh, the two most talkative types I see. You walk with the darkness? I must eliminate any threat. Uh, but, but we're not. What? Mikhail. Now, are you the same as the playable version is the question. You have two of these. What the? Reduces all enemies' burst gauge gain. Ew. 25% action gauge on hit. Immune to increased skill cooldown. Stats call and action inhibiting. Okay. Greatly reduce their speed for, tur for two turns. Does that actually mean something, or did they just put that in there? And it heals him. Ew. Attacks all enemies. Increases skill cooldown by one turn. And has a chance to re reduce his skill cooldown by one turn. I wish the actual one had that bit. That would be awesome. I think his is like five turn cooldown with no reduction by levels. Imperial Dimension. AoE. 70% chance to reduce action gauge by 50%. And increase his by 50%. Yeah, he's not even remotely the same as playable Marianne. Reduce the attack? Nope. Ow, kind of. <laughs> Burst formation with uh, Water Joshua still fills to max instantly. I forgot you're wearing your swimsuit outfit. Two will do for now. Oh, right, he increased everyone's cooldowns. I wanted to shield. I need to heal to full because he's about to burst. Yeah. Not sure where the sound effect on that is, but okay. And Frame shielded herself. Yeah, there's just no sound effects on the, uh... Oh, probably because I have it at the fast, fast speed. That would make sense. Oh, he only has 700 health. Or 700,000. There. There was a... Full five stacks of sap. Still shielded, so this shouldn't do much. Yeah, basically nothing. Three stacks. Oh, not full gauge that time. Feels like things are not working as they're intended to. Given this did 170,000 before, and she has stacks on her one now. Yeah. Marianne, a huff, a huff. Mm. I take my eyes off you for a minute and you do this. I only did what I had to. You, I don't think you have any idea what you're talking about. Don't be ridiculous. How is neutralizing Avalon's knights part of what you have to do? Avalon? Ah, I don't remember the intro story they gave for him with the login before he was released. But other than that, I don't think he's shown up anywhere before, story-wise. Probably in the third part of War of the Tyrants this year. What a mess. Lady Sifried? Yes, you remember. What brings you here? And with this man? Allow me to introduce you. This is Mariand Le... Latinin. Mariand? Why does that name sound familiar? Do I know him? He's one of the twelve heroes from the War of the Tyrants. Ah, that's why it's so familiar. Schneider talks about him all the time. Ha! <laughs> I'm glad we figured that out right away. But we, we didn't. We literally just had to fight him. Wait, why is one of the heroes here? Let's take care of this situation first. You back there. Are any of you hurt? Hmm? Er, yes, actually. We came because we were worried the knights got hurt. Then everyone form a line. I'll do my thing. It'll take a little while to get everyone, but I'm happy to relieve you of your pain. Starting with you, since it looks like Marianne struck you hard. Okay. What am I going to do about that buffoon? It's just like... Frickin' uh, Bianca and Ricardo. <laughs> that dynamic. She's less reckless and more just open to violence against everyone, apparently. 